Question Visitor Radio can help you reach the Travelling's Great with Aussie FM 88. This is Tourist Radio, Aussie FM 88 from Coona Barrow, and I'm talking with Noel Hawkins, who is the... Well, who's up there, and the so Jane can find a and, toilet. Uh, well, not long into our holiday, and already we're waiting for Jane to come out of the toilets. Here we are at Siding Springs. Oh yeah, here she comes. An emu in the Warren Bungles. Yeah. Out the back of the Warren Bungles, watching the, the emus had just been playing a little billabong there. Land on the way to Galagabar. Although, judging from puddles on the road, there's been rain very recently here. Here we are doing some sightseeing. Looking down over the peak open cut mine, I think it's for copper from the colour of the stuff. Very flat area, they've ex had a few showers in the afternoons, but just big red dust storms is all they're getting at the moment. Cobar okay, proper over in the distance. Volcania White Cliffs area. Still cruising along from Cobar. Looking for a sign to read just to break the border. Lots of goats crossing the road, but haven't managed to get any of those on film yet. I've come across some bends that'll give a bit of difference for Jan to drive in. I don't know if we can pick them up in this. It's also a pretty bumpy road out here too. And everybody must be leaving Adelaide because all we see is cars coming towards us. We've decided to have a break. And, uh, After all, it's all revive, survive, says I, and all that sort of crap. So we're going to turn into this roadhouse, which is probably some salubrious place. It is in the uncertainty about what our future is going to be and, uh, and the global situation. Uh, Baal is a classic example. I think, if anything, it's showing us that the world, we always talk about the world shrinking. And it is getting smaller and smaller. And what, it, what happens in another country or another nation affects all. Yep, we found another one. About 20k out of Volcania. Countryside hasn't changed all that much. The only wildlife we've seen really is sheep and goats. Still just out of Volcania. Jan's still driving. Volcania. Putting aside one whole room to show the correspondence, which was enlarged by one size and frame so that it was very kind of clear on the wall. 
and then the third round with this continuous projection. Going to fill up with fuel here somewhere. Also very carefully sighted in relation As to the As you can see the signs that there's black people around. This kind of physical dimension of uh, the installation and the performance installation is really crucial, I think, to the way in which it can communicate. You see what I mean? Crossing the and Great Darling just River. the very nature of a contained space was in a way to well, represent Canada used to be a river port. what you referred to in, in one of your documents as, as you can see it's past James nose and there's hardly any water in there. Also to some it's turning around to get petrol sent there's only one fuel station So I gave the Volcania. audience only the final outcome so, and I tried to sit very still so okay. in a way I was a kind of object image albeit an object image that was very disturbed because it was extremely painful and it was very really hard to sit still for five hours or whatever it was. But that stillness was a crucial component of the overall presence of the whole piece. Do you know what I mean? Of, of the piece in the space. So... Leaving Wilcannia, heading towards White Cliffs. Jan won't be too impressed because we've got to come back along this road because there's no other way. But white tooth is supposed to be really different, so we'll go look at it. Piece of dirt, 18k of dirt, evidently, on the way to White Cliffs. And it does deliver the tears from the suffering that she's undergone. It's something that you feel, and then you cry, but actually you're just giving God to you back to God. And that's Over to the right, there's the road, even previous road that they're just preparing for sealing, so I suppose in a year or two it'll be bitumen all the way to White Cliffs. So there's a difficulty there and then... Blame me, but congratulations Lauren. Lauren's the winner, but we'll find something, a little something for all of our other contestants, for Hamish, Margaret and Andrew. But congratulations. Happy Christmas to you all and thank you for taking part in what I now believe and fear... We don't know why these are shaking, but... Sunday morning, it's a great Christmas carol. They are. Great. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, happy... Not far out of White Cliffs now, and there's now I wonder what goes, what wine goes back to with a crocodile. I'll be talking to someone in just a moment. There it is over there. Who will tell us? Most important place we have to find in White Cliffs is a toilet. Couldn't be that hard. Dan will sniff it Panoramic view of White Cliffs. All these water tanks you see are actually the water supplies for underground houses that are around here.
just take a itself. Django. On the way up to Silverton where Mad Max was filmed. And it's obviously also a terrorist target. Uh, but... Out at Silverton. Miner's Cottage.
Here we are at the Mindy Mindy Lookout. Yesterday it was 41 degrees here, now it's freezing cold. And blowing a gale. Jan hasn't found a toilet out here yet, but it shouldn't be far away. This is Silverton with its little 19th century stone cottages. Which means they get the attention that they need for their own psychological needs. Right, how, how come? Mad Max's car there, outside the pub. Broken Hill. Just out of Coburn. Not in, New South, not in South Australia yet, it's still in New South Wales. What's that? In the South Australia now, coming up towards Yanta. The South Australia still into the grain lands. Lovely town of Burra, just a small area of it. And why have we stopped just at this point? Must be a reason. Ah, oh, there we go. One of the cellar doors that we've approached to go to, but they're closed. This is a shadow to Nunda. We always get Jan's back. She'll never look at the camera when she thinks I've got it out. But you notice she walks straight at this stage. Still at Shadow Tanando's thing. We Jan's not comfortable because she's shy again. This is this outside of Shadow Tanunda. This is a Grant Burge winery next door to Jacobs Creek's Visitor Centre. At this stage you notice Jan can still stand up straight. In the background there's our home for the while we're in this place. Here we are at the big rocking horse. After all the wine tasting, Jan can still stand up straight. 
Just driving out of the Novotel Resort. Overview of looking over Jacobs Creek. Just heading down into the Jacobs Creek area and then through into Tanunda. Yep, Jacobs Creek is, it does exist. Here we are at Gulwa. There's a bridge that was the focus of the secret women's business. And of course there's probably many reasons why we stopped here. This is the other end of the wharf at Gulwa. We're still trying to decide whether to go uh, on the wharf, on the ferry or the train. This is a Hindmarsh Bridge. Can't go near that because that's got full of secret women's business.